Today we will be looking at some of the most dangerous extinct sea monsters. Megalodon. The ancient oceans of Earth once housed a fearsome predator that was well known to sharks. The apex predators, Megalodon sharks, controlled the seas for over 20 million years. Their name, Megalodon, means big tooth in Greek. Their enormous triangular teeth, some of which were an incredible 16.6 centimeters in length, surpassed those of our modern great white sharks. Due to their cartilaginous bones, which make it difficult to determine their precise size, scientists think they might reach a length of 20 mem, which would make them three to four times larger than the largest great white sharks that exist today. These oceanic titans were transoceanic super predators that traveled huge distances to hunt the largest species in the ocean, such as whales. They had biting forces that were unmatched, roughly ranging from 100,000 to 200,000 newtons, far greater than that of any known mammal. According to research, Megalodon's diet included whales similar to modern orcas. While some claim that it ate more like great white sharks, there is no evidence to support this theory. Instead, the Megalodon's warm-blooded existence appears to have become unsustainable as sea levels dropped and prey grew scarcer. It is also possible that their diet changed as they matured, with juveniles likely seeking out smaller animals. Helicoprion Around 270 million years ago, a deadly marine monster known as Helicoprion ruled the waters. This prehistoric creature had a jaw resembling a buzzsaw with teeth arranged in a circular whorl, but for almost a century, scientists were unable to agree on the location of the animal's strange teeth spiral. Some claimed it was too obvious, resembling a party favor with a sharp twist, while others said it protruded from the throat or dangled from the tail. Until recently, however, the mystery persisted as new research shed light on Helicoprion's jaw structure. The toothy spiral filled the entire lower jaw with the jaw joint directly behind it. Unexpectedly, Helicoprion had no upper teeth. This ancient predator, ratfish, actually used its unique dental armor in a circular saw motion to snatch up soft-bodied prey like squid. Helicoprion could grow to be 20 to 25 feet long, and it roamed the oceans from the Paran to the early Triassic periods. Fossils of it have been found all over the world, from the Americas to Europe, suggesting that it lived on the supercontinent Pangaea. However, given its size and fangs, it is still unclear how such a fascinating species managed to disappear from the planet. Although Helicoprion had no natural predators when it faced difficulties during the Triassic mass extinction, it is the greatest predator of its time. Elasmosaurus the Elasmosaurus was a massive marine lizard that lived in North America's waters in the late Cretaceous period. Measuring about 50 feet in length, it swam beneath the waves, but its size wasn't the only thing that scared people. The first fossil of an Elasmosaurus was found in a surprising location in Kansas, demonstrating the creature's eerie existence even far from the ocean. Elasmosaurus had a monstrously long neck supported by an astounding 71 vertebrae. This appendage, which was half the length of its body, must have seemed like a nightmare come to life. The Loch Ness Monster is thought by some to be an Elasmosaurus, a theory supported by photographs and the belief that ancient terrors may still lurk in Scotland's dark waters. However, despite its enormous length, the Elasmosaurus could not raise its neck above the water's surface. It had to rise to the surface for air, just like modern marine mammals. Imagine this monstrous creature emerging from the depths with its lungs allowing it to remain submerged for up to 20 minutes. Phalaridon. Submerged beneath the surface of the Middle Triassic waters, oceans some 245 million years ago, was Phalaridon, the lizard-eating ruler of the seas. This 28-ton creature resembled the terrifying orca, but unlike most dinosaurs, which had simple teeth optimized for slippery prey like fish and squid, it had an appetite for everything greater than itself. It prowled in places where darkness fell and fear lurked. Phalaridon possessed ferocious teeth. These four-inch tall teeth with two-inch crowns resembled the terrifying fangs of mosasaurs and enormous pliosaurs, which were meant to catch and kill other large marine reptiles. The remnants of these creatures are terrifying, 
as they had enormous eyes that were nearly twice as large as modern dinosaurs, and each eye was about a foot across and a head. The arrival of Phalaridon in the Triassic waters suggests that in a short of million years, oceanic ecosystems rebounded, giving rise to dreadful apex predators similar to itself. Additionally, it is hypothesized that Phalaridon was the ultimate predator, with a hunting specialization for other ichthyosaurs. Coprolites, the contents of Phalaridon's gut, and Toth's marked bones all lend credence to this grisly theory. These macro predators only emerge when ecosystems support enough life to support them, and Phalaridon's reign of terror shows how quickly the oceans recovered from mass extinction, laying the foundation for the evolution of terrifying sea monsters over the following 250 million years. Anomalocaris. Let's go back more than 500 million years to a terrifying world ruled by Anomalocaris. This aquatic horror dominated the oceans during the Cambrian period, possibly making it the first top predator in human history. It was a one million year old prehistoric monster that stalked prey with massive spiked arms to ensnare, a fan-shaped tail to hold its prey in place, and square toothed jaws to bite. Tens of thousands of individual lenses made comprise these now fossilized eyes, giving Anomalocaris unparalleled vision in well-lit waters that extended nearly 360 degrees, making it a terrifying nightmare for its prey. Its horrific appearance wasn't just for show. Anomalocaris hunted with purpose. Recent discoveries show that its powerful claws, which were once thought to be used for attacking hard-shelled organisms like trilobites, were actually too frail for such prey. Instead, Anomalocaris most likely preyed on softer, squishier prey, torpedoing through the ancient oceans in search of its next meal. This helped to explain why it was known as the relentless predator. The Anomalocaris was an elite predator possessing unparalleled vision and a fierce hunting technique. Deinosuchus, the horrible crocodile, was a type of reptile that lived in North America's dark rivers in the late Cretaceous period. Imagine these enormous reptile monsters stalking the ancient waters, each with a six-foot-long cranium. They were among the largest known prehistoric crocodiles due to their colossal bodies, which measured up to 33 feet long and 10 tons in weight. These enormous crocs were as strong as the lethal Tyrannosaurus rex, with bite forces of 10,000 to 15,000 per square inch. Their voracious appetite extended beyond fish and shellfish, as they also terrified dinosaurs and left a spine-tingling trail of bite marks on North American Tyrannosaur remains. Before this massive carcass was found and claimed the terrifying distinction, Deinosuchus was believed to be the largest crocodile ever found. These ancient terrors grew at a rate of about one foot each year, leaving a terrifying trail wherever they went. Their fossil history is as convoluted as the plot of a horror film. Even though Deinosuchus had a terrible appearance, there were uncanny similarities between them and modern crocodiles, indicating the crocodilian lineage's persistent evil throughout millions of years. This malevolent bloodline begs the unsettling issue of why, despite their cousins' deaths, crocodiles, who share the same ancestry as dinosaurs, survived the catastrophic extinction event. Chronosaurus. Approximately 120 million years ago, Chronosaurus, a pliosaur, ruled over the oceans as one of the largest and deadliest marine reptiles to have ever roamed Earth. Named after the mythological figure Kronos, a titan who devoured his own children, Chronosaurus was a close relative of Lepurodon, another terrifying sea reptile that weighed up to 10 tons despite its enormous size. Although Chronosaurus lacked the sharp cutting edges of other predators, it made up for it with a deadly bite and the ability to pursue food at high speeds. It's possible that this apex predator targeted plesiosaurs, leaving bite marks on their skulls. Fossilized remains of Chronosaurus have been found in Australia and Colombia, suggesting that the species may have been distributed globally. However, there are still undiscovered fossilized remains on other continents. Surprisingly, Chronosaurus survived during a time when it was under threat from sharks that had evolved better and from the emergence of mosasaurs, which ultimately led to the extinction of pliosaurs and plesiosaurs. Dunkleosteus. 
Dunkleosteus, the ancient sea monster, also known as the Dunal Bone, ruled the late Devonian waters during this period. Up to 10 different species of Dunkleosteus flourished. These enormous monsters were a sight to behold in North America, Europe, and Morocco. Although their exact dimensions are unknown, they were estimated to be between 11 and 26 feet long. They were fearsome predators with their armor, which was made of bone plates. The enormous Dunkleosteus was a carnivore that could eat almost anything in its path, even turning to cannibalism. Their jaw plates were shaped like Terry Ying blades, which could slice through bone with a bite force equivalent to that of massive crocodiles, 21,000 pounds per square inch. However, what is truly remarkable is that Dunoas was an apex predator during the late Devonian, dominating the oceans with jaw-dropping adaptations. Despite being toothless, its jaws created self-sharpening cutting swords that could cut through anything in its path. Dunkleosteus perished during the Devonian mass extinction, leaving behind a record of incredible fossils. Basilosaurus. Think back to a time when the oceans were ruled by a terrifying creature that was mistaken for a prehistoric reptile. This creature, known as Basilosaurus, the king lizard of the ancient oceans, had a deadly secret that set it apart from the majestic whales of today. Its long, eel-like form stretched up to 65 feet, making it a silent, lethal predator that lurked beneath the waves, undulating its muscular physique near the water's surface. The terrifying part is that Basilosaurus wasn't a genius. Its brain was remarkably small for its massive size, making it incapable of performing the complex social behaviors that modern whales engage in. Basilosaurus couldn't even produce the melancholic whale songs that we associate with these ocean titans. This beast lived in the strange twist of the late Eocene epoch, when the Earth was ruled by enormous animals with dim intellect. The original name of this creature was Zadon, which seems more like something from a nightmare. The front flippers of Basilosaurus still contain elbow hinges, a feature that modern whales no longer have. This is one way that the dinosaur's legacy lives on. Because of its hollow, fluid-filled vertebrae, which suggest a preference for hunting close to the water's surface, Basilosaurus was a terrifying predator that dominated prehistoric times and is still remembered in our minds for its unsettling traits and dark past. Leedsichthys. Large sea monsters dominated the waters over 160 million years ago, and among them is the world's largest fish, Leedsichthys, which is 50 feet long, more than twice as long as previous estimates. This ancient giant was a filter feeder, sucking plankton from the water with its massive mesh-covered gills. Leedsichthys was a real marine monster that lived during a period when terrestrial dinosaurs were also growing to enormous proportions. Because of its primarily cartilaginous structure, which does not fossilize easily, this phenomenon, known as gigantism, was difficult to uncover. Fossils were found in a number of locations, including northern Germany, the Atacama Desert in Chile and Normandy, Mexico, but the poor quality of these remains gave scientists just a vague impression of the fish, and nearly the whole skeleton was found. According to this study, the fish may reach a length of about 50 feet, exceeding earlier predictions. Leedsichthys was able to capture plankton as it went through its mouth thanks to a microscopic mesh that was spread throughout its gills. But it is still unknown what led to the development of such enormous sea creatures both on land and in the ocean. Leedsichthys illuminates not only the vastness of its size, but also the ecological alterations that allowed such massive aquatic animals to thrive suggesting changes in plankton densities in spite of a significant reduction in its estimated size. Leedsichthys is still the biggest bony fish that has been found. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it.